What's up, everybody? Spirit vs. Robot, Bad Cat it again with Life is Strange. <clears throat> Let's go save this girl, shall we? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, yes. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed. Uh -huh. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a uh -huh. moment? Uh-huh. Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future star... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Boom. Shock the locker. No. I did not mean to hit that. So hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I Excuse me. Dang. Photography's. I'm on top of it. Max. Okay, good. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Bathroom is right. Her. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, <clears throat> retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, so it's sick. I need what a hammer to break it open! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Hella more trouble Good for this facts. than drugs. An inventory of oh, me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. For your sweating pinballs, is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I 
I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course, this academic drone won't These do anything will have since the Prescott He's family owns to change the outcome. Should I rewind and change my story? There we go. You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. There we go. You look a little strip. I might as well. I just So Josie who? Warren. I'm asking you to get my flash drive. I need some info and space. Hello? I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. No! Nathan. Principal.
So like no map or something that I can use? Hi Brooke. Let me guess. You wanna fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated. Okay, so either way, she tells me to step back. Nope. day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. Oh, there's a sign. Don't twice this way. Saw, dude. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. <clears throat> you could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, okay. hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get no. Victoria the hell out of the way. She hitting the wrong button. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Lols. So, do you understand English? Get lost.
I need to figure this out. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. See if this works. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No way! No <laughs> way. You okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Lols. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better. Oh, jeez. Okay. See what my room looks like. Oh, it's a teddy bear. <coughs> she plays guitar. Nice. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. 
Max, you just supposed to make an email saying that you told some tall tales about a black well honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Mom. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. What do you mean that action will have consequences? I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beat Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. More ground. Matt Saints for your email and copy of Jefferson's last notes. Yada yada yada. I am so Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. <sighs> oh, it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself in the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biatch of <laughs> Blackwell. This lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. I need to grab a flash drive on my desk before I see Warren.
Where? It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Whoa. Idiot. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Red eyes, her fear. Hmm. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend well, where? here. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I, I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I need to grab the flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. Cartier Bresson, Fino, Hamilton, the greatest. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. There we go. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Uh, Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't nailed care. Nailed it. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Answer, you wuss. Okay. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Hmm. 
anywho, I hope you guys have liked this episode. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And until next time, stay awesome, stay beautiful. Love you guys, and I will catch y'all later. Yeah.